Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. This is episode three of our Let's Code series. And in this episode, we're going to look at displaying an image on the screen that shows the user where we are. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed and hit the notification icon. It really helps me out. And obviously a massive thank you to my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. So before we do anything else, we need to create a couple of new files in our initialize folder. The first one we're going to create is going to be called declarations.rpy. And the second one is going to be called functions.rpy, like that. So in our declarations, this is where we're going to lay out the default values for all of our variables. So the variable that we want at the moment is going to be like this. We declare it by saying default and we're going to create a variable which is going to be the file that we want to show or the image that we want to show. So we're just going to call this one BG image like that and it's going to be an empty string like that and we're going to save so now we've got an empty string what we need to do now fill it with something so we're going to create an init python block in our functions rpy like that and why we're creating this in a different fold in a different file to our classes is just for a sake the sake of kind of keeping our code tidy you don't want a whole bunch of functions listed underneath our class declarations. We want to keep them kind of separate. So we've got our init Python block and we're going to define a new function. So we're going to say def and we're going to say BG declare like that. Now what we want to do is we want to pull in some variables from the global variable table. So we need to say global and we want to spell that correctly and we want our locations variable and we also want to spell global correctly again and we want to get our variable here bg image and to make sure we spell it correctly we're just going to copy and paste that like that now what this means is that the variables that we're using now are relative to the entire project and not just this function because that can cause problems in the future so the first thing we want to do is we want to say bg image equals locations dot lower like that and that just removes any capitals from the locations string and then what we need to do is say bg image equals bg image dot replace open brackets and we're going to put in a space in the first string and then an empty string in that one which is going to take out all of the spaces from our uh, from our location names so if you remember we've got things like loft conversion second bedroom guest bed bathroom things like that they've got spaces in them and they've got capitals in them and we basically just removed all of those so that now we just get one continuous lit line of text which is awesome and then the last thing we want to do is we want to say bg image equals bg image plus and then we just want to put dot jpeg at the end of that so it's given us our file name put a pair of closed parentheses at the end of that line there so i accidentally put s's at the end of the word location so and we also need to put our directory location so we need to put places like that put plus there like that there. So this is make sure that if you've got your fault your images in a separate folder. So my mine are located within a folder called places. 
so you need to make sure that this is if it's in the images folder on its own you don't need this part but i've got mine in a folder called places and that's our function essentially we're going to call this function from elsewhere and that will give us this information so happy days so what we need to do now is we're going to create a new folder in our scripts and we're going to call the folder screens like that and inside that screens we're going to create a new file and this one is just going to be called bgimage.rpy that way there's never any doubt about where we are now we're going to create a new screen so we're going to declare it screen bg image all capitals just to make sure that we're not confusing it with a variable name and closed parentheses and a colon now we're going to say add bg image and hit return and now that should as long every time we use this screen uh, provided that we've called that function beforehand which we can actually do now if we were to put in our pound sign and we were to say bg and we can go into our functions and we can just call it like that so we're going to go back into our screen now like that so we're calling our function and then we're adding that image to the screen which is great we can see that our code is working or rather it hasn't fallen over yet <laughs> that could still happen it could still happen so we're going to close that down now what we want to do is come into our screens.rpy file and this is going to be the first adjustment that we're going to make to this specific file and we're going to ignore all of the styles so we've got our say screen here which is probably the most sensible place to put it so what we're going to do in our say screen is we're simply going to say use and then we're going to come back to our BG image declare like this. And we're just going to copy the title of that screen. And in our screens.rpy, we're going to press Control V. There we go. Now, when we save it, now anytime that there is someone speaking in the game, it should show us that screen. So let's run it and see what happens. And as you can see now, we've got our. our image location welcome to hallway so if we go move we're going to move to the kitchen so you move again we'll go to the bedroom we're going to add some cash we're going to build let's build our driveway then we can move to the driveway and let's go build again let's build our patio we're going to move to the patio and as you can see now we are testing and we're making sure that the location is actually working and as you can see it really is now all of this does feel like it's a little bit noddy at the moment but this is all our way of testing and putting things in place for later on when we've got things much more complex so having a screen that just displays an image it does feel like it's a bit of a waste of code but it will all make sense later on <laughs> thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one Goodbye.